Hello and welcome to another set of readings from Lotus Love Tarot 555. I'm here today to give your full moon reading in Taurus. Yes, you guys, everything is going to begin to calm down. Let me go ahead and put this out there. Um, if you do not want to hear this introduction, go ahead and fast forward through, but I am going to do an introduction for those who may be new to the channel or those who may want to hear information on how this new moon, excuse me, this full moon is going to um, affect us, okay? All right, so first of all, this full moon in Taurus, this is known as the beaver moon. This uh, full moon will be either November 11th or 12th, depending on where you live in the um, in the world, okay? And of course, again, it's going to be in Taurus, which is my sun sign. You all, we are grateful, grateful, grateful that things are going to begin to calm down. We have had a very, very intense last couple of uh, cycles in um, astrology. First of all, it's Scorpio season. Do I need to say more? Second, Mercury is in ret retrograde. My computer actually crashed. My phone has been going haywire. Thank God I had a backup because I was aware and I knew how Mercury retrograde could affect you. And third, the new moon was in uh, Scorpio, which was right before Halloween. So all of those energies together, back to back to back, we just have not had a break. But now, um, by the full moon being in Taurus, it's going to calm down a bit. We know that Taurus is ruled by the sexy planet of Venus. It's an earth sign. And also, Taurus is known for love. It's known for sensuality. It's known for luxury and comfort. There's also going to be uh, a focus on money. Right now, this is going to allow you to clear any block blockages that you may have, anything surrounding money, not knowing how to budget. This is also a great time for you to do vision boards, okay, or create your long-term goals. And don't forget about self-care. One thing about the sign of Taurus, Taurus knows how to take care of themselves and, and luxury and comfort and just relaxation. All right, so... That was just a little bit of information about this full moon. Now, again, thank you so much for those who may be joining us for the first time. Um, I read your comments, you guys, for those who have subscribed to us. Thank you so much for all the positivity that we continue to um, put on the channel and also on Instagram. So if you haven't followed us on Instagram, go over to Lotus Love Tarot 555 and follow us there. You guys, you, you can apply this reading that, uh, well, it's not a full reading, so let me make sure you understand that. This is just to give you an idea of where you need to set your intentions uh, for the full moon. So if you don't know how to set your intentions, go to our full moon playlist and we have a video there on setting intentions. But you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising and your Venus sign. And do remember that the messages will flip flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could very well relate to your partner. Oh, hello to our cross watchers out there. You guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button on those videos because those allow uh, the readings to go out a little further. Right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that bell and every time we release a reading, you will be notified. Don't forget that we do do private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below. And also we have started doing readings on Sundays for those who subscribe to us. So on Sundays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can find us over at Instagram. That's where we start. And then after we finish that session, we head over to uh, you to our YouTube channel, which is going to be around 1230. So make sure you hit both of those spots because, again, we just do free readings and uh, for you guys just to get your week jump started. Okay, I think I've said enough. Now, on to your mini reading. Hello, my Aries. Okay, let's get right into your mini reading. You guys, this is just to give you an idea of where you need to set your intentions. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions for the full moon occurring on November 12th, 2019. What messages need to go forth? Okay. Sign of Aries. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages they go for for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions for the full moon occurring on November 12, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions? Okay. Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries 
as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 12th, 2019. Okay, with the spirit, divine creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 12th, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries? Okay. Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 12, 2019. Okay, okay, you have two cards here. Okay. All right, Aries, let's see. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So for those who may be trying to control a situation, Spirit is saying let go of the control, okay? And let it unfold naturally. Don't try to guide it. Don't try to direct it. Just, just go with the flow, okay? And accept heaven's help, okay? You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So again, Accept heaven's help in this situation that you're trying to control. Your home is protected by angels. I love this card. It gives so much security, allowing you to realize that whatever you're embarking on right now, you're protected. It doesn't mean go and do anything crazy, okay, or take advantage of the spirit. But this is just a, this is just reassuring you that you're protected, okay, in the space that you in that you're in. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what is the, what it is that you truly desire. So if you um, are in a space right now that you don't want to tell or you don't want to let anybody know how you feel, first of all, you have to admit the truth to yourself. Deal with this with yourself first, even if it might be something that's very, very painful that you don't want to really just admit to yourself that something you may have done, uh, maybe a way you may have acted, okay? Admit the truth to yourself that, it was inappropriate, okay? Or admit the truth to yourself that you did something that you're not proud of. Admit the truth to yourself. Accept it for yourself. And this is very, very, very important that you do this. Look at here, because Spirit says once you do, there's going to be an opportunity for you, but you, you can't stop. You can't stop moving in the right direction. You can't stop um, accepting heaven's help. You can't stop any of the advice that you've been given here because this is going to move you out of that space. And Taurus energy is the right energy to do this in. This is where you start to make those goals for yourself. You know, this is where you begin to um, plot out this life that you've always desired. But you need to, this is your starting point here. So again, if you don't know how to set your intentions, go over to our full moon playlist and it is on the playlist. I promise you guys, it's on the playlist because sometimes I can't find it. It's there, okay? And, um, and use that as a tool of being a guide to set those intentions and make sure that you do it this time. So this is kind of setting you up for that, uh, for 2020. Okay. If you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below until next time. I love. Bye-bye.